and welcome back to the review section of Unit 4. And the article takes a look at how some of the largest polluters in the world are taking a look at trying to get rid of their, their carbon footprint and limit a lot of the air pollution, uh, re reducing the carbon dioxide they're emitting. Uh, whether it's from companies and production and other things. And uh, one of their courses of action that they're taking is planting a large amount of a type of tree in these kind of monoculture farms. But a lot of climate scientists are adamantly against this course of action. Um, and they've published a lot of rebuttal studies um, for this and to argue that it can hurt the biodiversity of the environment and certain ecosystems adamantly. Adamantly. Rebuttal. Rebuttal. What are some solutions to this global warming and carbon footprint reduction that people have pinned their hopes on? Hmm. People have pinned their hopes on. I do think basically it comes to plastic quite a lot. Pin one's hopes. Pin one's hopes. Like there's been a big movement getting rid of plastic straws. And right. even in Korea, I'm part of a, a Facebook page mm -hmm. on how to try and not use any plastic when we go to the shops, like mm -hmm. where to shop and uh, what to buy. So I think globally, it's more related to being a clean shopper, basically, mm -hmm. or thinking clean in a way. Um, uh, and yes, because that's one of the biggest issues also. Yeah. Right. So I think for me, it's a whole plastic part of our pollution, basically. Right. And that is one of the more direct measures that we can take as yeah. individuals. Yeah, right. Um, I think a lot of uh, countries uh, in some ways, as well as companies, also trying to do a big shift mm -hmm. to uh, solar power. Yeah, so uh, solar I think power we've too. pinned our hopes on that so much that yeah. we've tried to advance solar power technology. Even I could say electric vehicles. I think there's a lot of push for that to reduce our carbon emissions from vehicles, from whether it's our own personal cars or through transportation of goods in certain, uh, for countries. I think that's a big push. Mm -hmm. um, so that might work. However, there's a lot of uh, debate and even rebuttal from some people that even the production of electric vehicles produces carbon yes, dioxide and right. emissions at a higher rate than a, you know, a diesel or a gas vehicle would. So there's some controversy about that. Right. Uh, <laughs> but there's no single solution. Like the word is the panacea. There's no single thing to solve this. There's mm -hmm. these little combined actions that we could take. Um, so do you think we were able to ever offset our carbon emissions? Hmm. No, um, hmm. there are too many countries involved. And I think unless all these countries take it very seriously, right. which I think they're not, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen and not soon, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. Uh, it sounds pessimistic, but I it agree. Does. <laughs> yes, it does. I have the same feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see it happening in my I don't want to say lifetime, but yes. I feel like it definitely is going to be a few decades yeah. until Before any kind of changes or the leaders start taking it more seriously, right? Yeah. Or any technological changes. Yeah. So, well, that's it for the review. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next unit.